all right i will be sharing the bills after the gameplay here this is vanguard floor 4 first i want to showcase how the build works and what we can do in floor 4 even though we weren't able to finish this uh, most likely since the boss at the end has 8 billion hp and we need to upgrade the charms a bit more but there we go you guys can see i am basically chilling and freezing everyone around us and they are unable to move much you can see everyone is just getting interrupted when they are trying to get closer and uh, getting frozen as well and uh, they also take 30 percent more damage when they are frozen you can see some big numbers even in like millions but that is thanks to the charm that we have and this is how the floor for looks nice and easy so far and now getting stuck between these enemy trying to move to the next next platform here this is somewhat like the diablo 4 where we go have to be on the platform when we killing enemies and so you guys can see really high cc aoe and also breaking the armor of the enemy at the same time while having insane amount of survivability with the immunity crystal and uh, it will make your teammates love you as well in the higher difficulty when you will be stopping all these enemies chilling them and freezing them and the stopping them from attacking uh, this is ultimate support wizard build that does really good damage versus monsters as well it will be weaker was versus the boss but versus the monsters this is one of the best build and now we are on the floor four so far so good but now the hp of the enemies will go up up to one billion i believe so already uh, we lost one person there that isn't good that isn't good so this is going to slow us down the more people on the platform the faster it moves or faster you kill the faster it moves so we lost one but the purpose of the video is to showcase the build here that you can use and of course there will be timeline in this video if you just want to skip to the build now but there we go survivability is insanely high versus these monsters really high cc control and there we go now the boss will be spawning and this this is where things get really really bad now we already lost one person and uh, since our charms are not all that high level fighting 8 billion is not going to be possible the best that we did was able to take down the boss uh, less than 4 billion in the last attempt but we definitely need more varieties of the charms and uh, this isn't gonna cut it so i'll see you guys for the build now i don't think we're gonna able to do it it is just going to be uh it, it is just going to make the video longer so now let's dive into the build and i did end up getting a new charm that was really helpful so i would highly recommend you using uh, light orb here that is going to help you increase the damage that the boss takes up to 100 percent this is extremely helpful and since we are using a support build this is going to be the best way to provide support with this build for a team when this orb is active for a second the bosses with billion of hp will take increased damage from all of your teammates as well now that is out of the way the charm that i would recommend you can also go and use something else that gives you damage but this is one of the best that i ended up finding so far but starting with the skills that we using we have magic missile ice armor disintegrate frost field and scorch for the set pieces this is what we have here 
two pieces of riches to extend the beneficial duration of the skills and some of the gems and then we have two pieces banquet when we are applying the harmful effects on the enemy they take 15 percent more damage and then speaking of harmful effect i'm also increasing the duration of harmful effects like the poison from some of my gems really helpful and then i have two pieces of the new set here and winter since i'm applying so much chill and freezing the enemy they take increased 30 percent damage and i would highly recommend everyone stacking up a lot of beneficial duration on your care pieces from the reforge having beneficial duration increase on all your eight pieces and then going with the skill damage critical hit damage that is going to help you a lot now for these set pieces this is what we have the headpiece for the scorch that shoot the ice shards uh, at the frozen or chilled enemy and we are using a chest piece for the frost field that can apply chill and freeze the enemy really good for the shoulder crystalline shadow is what we're using for disintegrate to break the uh break the armor of the enemy really good also do some decent damage and has some nice range pants are uh, again for the disintegrate haste and oblivion to have 100 percent uptime for the disintegrate and then we have the entropic edge for disintegrate range increase we need this to apply more chill and hit more enemies at distance and then we are also increasing the damage of our disintegrate again focusing a lot on disintegrate then we have the hailstone that is going to help us survive with the immunity crystal for the ice armor and then at the end we are using withering chill that gives our scorch scale a bit more critical hit chance versus the frozen enemy so this is what we have and as for the paragon this is what i end up using you can mix and match here go with something else but this is what i end up using myself signing off hopefully i did not end up forgetting anything and see you all in the next one later guys